Good morning, thanks for watching Living Local. I am here with August Mize from Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union. Hello, August. <laughs> hey, Rainy. So we are here because, of course, it's Financial Friday. Yeah, of course. And But today's kind of a special one because you can kind of tell of all of our pink in the background. Right, we're not just here with the pink because we love pink. We do want to... Though you do. Though I do. That is definitely my favorite color. We are here because we're going to be talking with Susan, who is a board of director with Karen in Our Lifetime. Okay. So. Karen in Our Lifetime is a local organization that helps people in or in Georgetown County that are battling breast cancer with some of those medical expenses. Mm -hmm. And so um, we kind of heard about Karen in Our Lifetime through our Grand Strand Magazine Women in Business Edition. So every October at Carolina Trust, we um, do some photos of different women within our organization who we enter into women in business, which Fun. is you know an article with Grand Strand Magazine that kind of highlights prominent women in their field throughout the area. Oh, that's cool. So um, a proceed of that edition actually goes to Karen in Our Lifetime, and different things like that is kind of how Karen in Our Lifetime makes their money to be able to kind of help help other women. Yeah, to help other women and men who may be battling breast cancer within the area. The women that we featured in our Women in Business photo this year were women that had been with Carolina Trust for over 15 years. Wow. So we have so many employees that you know have stayed with us for years because you know they love being a part of that credit union family and mm -hmm. have found their home here at Carolina Trust. And so we were able to um, include them in this year's photos and we took them here at the Conway River Wall. Good spot. It's a good spot to do it. It's it is. It's beautiful down here. It is. Um, well, I guess we'll go chat with Susan and learn more about caring in our lifetime. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Let's, Let's go get meet her. So now we are here with Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi there. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Great. Great. Wonderful so, day. August and I were chatting about you. So you mm -hmm. are a board member on Caring in Our Lifetime, right? Yes. Yes, I am. So can you tell me a little bit about the organization and what all you do? Caring in Our Lifetime was started in 1997. Uh, a good friend of a group of women that work together uh, started raising money for her for her breast cancer. And we have been in existence since then, raising money year after year uh, for, for um, breast cancer medical bills and they apply with us and we approve them and we give them a certain amount of money and it just helps them out a lot. I'm sure that does help a lot. And so you were kind of telling August and I kind of the fun story of how you got involved to begin yes. with. Yes. And so you had met the original woman who had gotten breast cancer who everybody kind of rallied and you know, right. raised funds for. Right. And then, you know, after they did that for her, they decided, hey, we're going to like do this for other people. Mm -hmm. And then you got breast cancer a year later, right? Yes. I mean, it, it was, it gives me chills to think about it because I met her and um, she told me about the organization. They were raising money for a golf tournament. And yeah, a year later, boom, I, you know, there it was. Yeah. But, uh, I, you know, and, and they always kept me in mind and were like, okay, you're on the board. Now. Right, so. right. And you are a survivor, so we celebrate yep. that. 13 years. Amazing. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So, Susan, how are some of the different ways that you guys supply funds for Karen in our lifetime to be able to help the people in the community? Well, August, it, it, it's, the, it's community driven. Yeah. It, I mean, people are so kind and knowing that our money stays in local counties helps local people. We just got through with the BFF race at Barefoot, Breast Friends Forever, and we'll get part of those proceeds. We did a Harley, Harley for boobs, and uh, they gave us, um, they ordered t-shirts and we get the, the money's from that. It's just a lot of different people pitching in, making donations. It's just the community giving back. Yeah, and that's so nice that, yeah. you know, so many people in the community see the need and want to help give back to, you know, more or less right. complete strangers. And in honor of breast cancer awareness, all of us at Carolina Trust want to remind you to do regular exams, make sure you're getting your yearly mammogram, and take all the necessary precautions to make sure that you're cancer free. Thanks for watching Living Local. We'll be right back. 